Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the exponential equation on the board. Now, before we begin, notice that for all positive real values of x, this left-hand side must always be less than this right-hand side. So that means that the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation, that is the value of x for which the left-hand side is going to be equal to the right-hand side, must be negative. Now, we have that 9x squared is equal to 10 to the power x. The first thing we are going to do is that we will divide both sides of this equation by 9. We are also going to divide both sides of the equation by 10 to the power x. On the left-hand side, this is going to take care of that. While on the right-hand side, this is going to take care of that leaving us with x squared over 10 to the power x is equal to 1 over 9. Now, of course, you know that we can write this left-hand side as x squared multiplied by 10 to the power minus x. And of course, this is equal to 1 over 9. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will write 10 in terms of the Euler number e. Now, from our log reading, remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. So we have that e to the power log to base e of 10 must be equal to 10. Of course, you know that log to base e is natural log reading, ln. So we have that e to the power ln 10 is equal to 10. That simply means that we can write this left-hand side as x squared multiplied by 10 is now e to the power ln 10. And of course, 10 has a power which is minus x. And this is equal to 1 over 9. Now, to get rid of these brackets, of course, we multiply these two powers. When we do that, we have x squared times e to the power minus x ln 10 is equal to 1 over 9. Now, from this point on, our aim is to make sure that what we have here before the Euler number is exactly the same thing that we have as the exponent of the Euler number. Now, the first thing we are going to do to achieve that aim is to get rid of this squared. How are we going to do that? We are going to take square root of both sides of this equation. So we have that x squared times e to the power minus x ln 10 to the power half for square root is equal to plus or minus 1 over 9 to the power half. Of course, you know that to get rid of these brackets, we multiply the powers. So 2 times half is 1. Minus x ln 10 times half is minus x ln 10 divided by 2. And this is equal to plus or minus 1 over 3. But remember that the value of x that satisfies this equation must be negative. Also, remember that for any value of x, this is going to be positive. And we have already noted that this is negative. And of course, you know that negative times positive is going to give us negative. So we have that x times e to the power minus x ln 10 over 2 is equal to minus 1 over 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do to make sure that what we have before the Euler number is the same as what we have here is to multiply both sides of this equation by minus ln 10 over 2. So when we do that, we have minus x ln 10 over 2 times e 
to the power minus x ln 10 over 2 is equal to minus 1 over 3 times minus ln 10 over 2. Of course, here we have minus x ln 10 over 2 times e to the power minus x ln 10 over 2 is equal to minus minus is plus. 3 times 2 is 6. So on the right hand side, we have ln 10 divided by 6. Now we can use a calculator to evaluate this. And to four decimal places, this is approximately equal to 0 0.3. 838. Now notice that what we have before the Euler number is exactly the same thing that we have in the exponent of the Euler number minus x ln 10 over 2. So now we can apply the Lambert W function to both sides of this equation. So when we do that, on the left hand side we have this that is minus x ln 10 over 2, and this is equal to the Lambert W function of 0 0.3838. Now, when you impute this number into a Lambert W function calculator, we have several of those online. It will return one value, which is equal to 0 0.2878. So now we have that this is equal to that. And of course, it is now very easy to find the value of x. We know that x is going to be equal to 2 times this divided by minus ln 10. And once more, using the calculator from here, we have that x is approximately equal to minus 0 0.24997. So this is the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see more videos here.